And so looking at mentation, um, there's several ways that we like to divide mentation. And so a patient that is normal should be bright, alert, and responsive, or quiet, alert, and responsive. So normal responses to their environmental stimuli. The next phase of that is an obtunded patient. And so that's a patient that is awake and alert and looking around, but their response to their environmental stimuli is blunted. And usually within um, obtundation, I'll usually grade it and say it's mild, moderate to severe. And that can be subjective kind of depending on who's looking at it. And then the next stage is stupor. So a stuporous animal is going to have no response to any environmental stimuli, but is going to respond to a painful stimulus. And then a comatose patient is going to be one that has no response to any stimuli, including a painful stimulus. And so I think oftentimes we um, have patients coming over to us that are coming over in a quote unquote coma, or my interns will tell me that the patient's in a coma when really they're probably not. They're probably stuporous. They still respond to painful stimuli, but they don't respond to normal environmental stimuli. And so animals that are actually comatose typically have a very guarded prognosis. And then the last thing that I put on here is just inappropriate mentation. So it's kind of hard to know exactly where to put this in, but these are oftentimes animals that are relatively alert, but their response is inappropriate or excessive. So sometimes they're um, super hyperreactive to touch or sound or light. So it's not really a dulled response, but it's just an inappropriate response to their stimuli.